Our reporter Abu Bakr Abdullahi to fill us in on what's happening. Abu, Abu Bakr, uh, what is the situation in Kawangware? Is normalcy slowly crawling back? <laughs> Well, good morning, Michael. The situation here is that of lengthy queues. Lengthy queues because, it, it, because many of the cars that come, the vehicles that are coming to this area, of course, are fitted with uh, the recommendations of course, the Michuki rules. Uh, you, you will understand that this was a prerequisite for them to be on the road this morning. Uh, but that doesn't really depict the picture of what is happening here because you will understand that despite the vehicles coming here there, there is a lengthy queue many people are lining up to get at least what they say now is a rarity of recent uh, cars the number of cars on the roads is not in comparison to what they say well, the normal day will be. This situation, of course, is slightly improving. Normalcy is slowly returning. Of course, this follows the, the meeting yesterday between security agency, security agencies rather, and uh, uh, Matatu operators, of which they had few recommendations, among them being the formation of a task force that, that, is, that will headline some of the things that the Matatu industry is facing. And now I'm joined by, let me talk to a lady who is here as a, an attendant in this particular stage, if you could kindly introduce yourself and tell us how the situation is this morning here. Kwa majina naitua Beth Achieng Manyala. Mimi ni stage as attendant to our Westlands, Kawangware route. Kwa leo, kuna line kidogo tukikompea na jana. Ni kama watu wengi wakutoka town, wanatumia route yetu ya Westlands, diwaweze kutembea kutoka Westlands mpaka town. Lakini sisi kwetu watuna shida, gadi zetu zime comply, wafanyikazi wetu wame comply. Na tuko sawa, customer wetu watuja waongezea bei, bei yetu imebaki tu ni 60, venye uwa tunalipisha kila sisi. Nini mabadiliko ukiangalia leo na jana? Leo watu ni wengi kidogo, tukikompea na jana, kwa sababu watu wengi wa kutumia ruti ya town, wamekosa magari, so wana kutumia ruti yetu ya Westlands, alafu wanatembea kutoka Westlands kuenda town. Eh. Kwa kuna mabadiliko leo? Kuna mabadiliko kiasi tukikompea na jana. Jana kiwa ikuwa long, lakini leo kiwi mekua long kidogo tukikompea na jana. So, so. Michael, remember the bond of contention in these Michuki rules are rules that have been set in place from 2003, partly been uh, the, the fitting in of uh, safety belts, speed governors, conductors wearing uniform. This causing, of course, a conflict between Matatu operators and security agencies. You'll remember that yesterday, uh, uh, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi ag again said that the government was not in any way, the authorities and the government were not in any way going to compromise on this situation. This, this morning as well having its own effect here, that the, the lengthy queues characterizing here this mo morning uh, so, some of the people here tell me that they have waited for less than an hour, which is in contrast in comparison to yesterday's three hour. If I'll be able to talk to a, a man here, if you'll kindly tell us your name and how long you have waited in this stage. Uh, my name is Henry Kissinger, and I've been here for the last uh, 45 minutes. And uh, for sure, we are getting problems. At least the government should do something on this. Because, uh, you cannot do all this thing all the, all, the, all the time there's a problem with the transport, all the time there's a problem with the transport. Because these this Mishuki rules, they are there. What, what, what will you want the government to do? At least they should do something that uh, can, uh, they can make uh, all of us to be happy with the transport. That is one. What I feel is, uh, is you know, the government is looking for money at the moment. So why don't they say that all the public uh, uh, tra transport or public uh, vehicles to use their maybe like insurance or something like that to make some money. Yes. Of course so you are, are, are you late for your daily occurrence? How, how long are you late? Of course, I already I'm late. I'm supposed to be on work at 8.15. Already I'm late. Yes. Thank you for talking to us. Of course, if, if you can see the queue, we have walked for all, close to 100 meters now. The queue as well is not ending. If anything, I can see from a distance, the number is piling up. The number is increasing as of now. If I'll as well get a chance to talk to a lady here, if you'll kindly tell us your name and how long have you been in this queue this morning? I've been here since at 6 p.m. and I'm supposed to report at work at 8 p.m. Yeah, because of the line. Yeah. Has the situation improved from yesterday's uh, occurrence? Today is at, it is at least because yesterday I reached at 9.30, but today I'm going to reach at 9 o'clock. Yeah. You're being futuristic of the time we'll get there. But Mike, you'll understand that many of the people who are piling up as well, these lines are people who are needed at their work 
destinations, destination places at 8 a.m. It's past 8 a.m. They're still in queues, no, no cars inside, but the number has improved. Even these long cars today, we are told, is improvement of what was witnessed yesterday. Yesterday, absolutely, there were very few, very few cars because of, of course, the, the, the regulations and the recommendations that came into an enactment. But the situation here is flee, and, and this morning flowing, not as many of the commuters will have wanted, but they say it's a slight improvement in contrast to this. From me, Abu Bakr Abdullah in the capital, let us well get a picture of how the situation is in the lakeside city, in the city, seaside rather, city of Mombasa. Francis Mtalaki, I understand, is on standby. Francis, how is the situation on that end as well?